Is Sis a slur? Well, if it's the case, I guess I can't talk about Roman history anymore. Can't talk about Hannibal's infamous crossing of the Alps from Transalpine Gaul into Cisalpine Gaul in 218 BC, conquering the territory until Carthage's defeat in 202 BC. Can't talk about the Rubicon, the river that marked the border between Cisalpine Gaul and Italy proper, which was why Caesar's crossing of the river was so important. I guess I just have to call people from Northern Italy using the informal term Gallia Togata, meaning toga-wearing barbarians from now on. Ladies and gentlemen, cis isn't a slur, it's simply a Latin prefix meaning this side of, so Cisalpine Gaul is the Gaul on this side of the Alps from the Romans' point of view, and Transalpine Gaul is simply Gaul on the other side of the Alps. This debate about semantics, however, isn't particularly interesting to me, and what I really want to talk about is why so many people find the term cis so offensive. I believe it's because the use of this term in this context is clearly ideological. Think of it this way. Technically, I am an infidel because I don't believe in a god. And whilst you can call me that and it would technically be true, it's certainly something I wouldn't want to be called. Having this adjective being forced upon you as one of your primary descriptives, being compelled to have it in your social media bios for example, is essentially giving yourself into this religious ideological world view, where the world is divided into simply believers and non-believers. As a non-believer, I don't buy into this premise, nor do I want to be compelled into seeing the world through this ideology. It doesn't mean that I don't respect it, nor do I want those people to stop practicing it, but it's simply not for me. It's for the same reason many are offended by being referred to as cisgender. Yes, it's probably an accurate descriptor, but to say that you're fine being called cis implies that you wish to see yourself through this gendered worldview that divides people into trans and cis people. What if they're a non-believer? What if they're a second wave gender abolitionist feminist who doesn't believe in the separation between gender and sex and simply the ideas of gender are simply traditional stereotypes of the sexes and that this separation simply reinforces um, gendered stereotypes that feminism has been trying to abolish for over a century now. Or what about people who are non-Western individualist liberals, i.e. most of the world, who simply believe that uh, who we are is determined by your birth and your role in society and not your inner feelings and urges. I mean, these are perfectly legitimate ideologies as well. Who are we to say that they're bigoted and wrong? So yes, using certain dictionaries, it's technically not wrong to call certain people cis, but you might as well be preaching stoicism at an LGBT pride event. We need to understand that diversity isn't just skin colour, it's also diversity of opinion, ideology, and worldviews. For this free-thinking, free-speaking liberal society to work, I think we need a new Thomas Jefferson. He believed that America needed complete freedom of religion for the religiously diverse 13 colonies to coexist under one government, and I believe to fix this ever-increasing uh, political polarization in Western society, we need a new movement that promotes freedom of ideology. Let me know your thoughts and thanks for listening.